You know, there are so many companies right in our own backyard working on, uh, hello? I'm sorry. I was looking up these companies that you're talking about. Well, One of them this that company, I found in Blue Result. This company's working on the latest technologies for products most of us use. <laughs> Betsy Kling gives us an inside scoop. It's Friday and time for my STEM ambassador of the week. And joining me today, Julie Edgar, a chemist and the corporate vice president of innovation at Lubrizol, and Jessica Becker, a skincare chemist there. Thank you so much for coming in. Julie, I have to say, when I think Lubrizol, I do not think personal care products. <laughs> and you're not the only one. Okay. Uh, as, you, as you know, Lubrizol started here in 1928 mm -hmm. uh, in Wycliffe, just a few miles up the road. And we did start out in the automotive lubricant space. Okay. We've had a 90-year history of that. But in uh, 2004, we made an acquisition of another local company here. Legacy BF Goodrich, yes, which added a completely new and diverse set of product lines uh, to what we do. That had nothing to do with tires necessarily. Uh, absolutely, <laughs> or engines. I mean, or it's engines. just, but chemistry is chemistry, right? That's what it comes down to. Absolutely, so that's what we do. We, we provide chemistry. Yep. We provide applications expertise, which is really understanding how the chemistry works and uh, proving performance in the applications and then matching that up to the markets that we choose to serve. I mean, it's just amazing when you start to think about oils for cars and then you're like, wait a minute, oils right. for skin, it's all the same kind of stuff, just completely right. different applications right. mm -hmm. for sure. Uh, and that's really true. We describe our chemistries, whether they're in use for an engine, yeah. a transmission, could be a surface here, mm -hmm. uh, a vehicle in the engine or the... Um, paint that's used on the car sure. and also in personal and home care applications. So let's talk about this personal and home care applications for chemistry because you've got some, you know, stuff that looks like could be in my medicine cabinet right now, Jessica. <laughs> uh, so, you know, how, how does all this come about? Where do you begin when you start coming up with new items? Well, that's a great question. So. Uh, this first demonstration that I'll show mm -hmm. kind of shows the progression of the polymer from its starting point all the way to something that would be more recognizable that you might see on a shelf or a product. So this first uh, is the polymer. Okay, what is a polymer? Um, so a polymer really brings uh, structure, thickening, uh, and flow characteristics to these personal care products. Okay. So it's just something that kind of helps everything start to come together, kind of like you're adding flour to the batter, so to speak. Yes, yes, okay. basically speaking, yes. Okay, we like cooking analogies <laughs> here. We love food. Yes. Um, okay, so it starts as a powder, and then you add your other chemicals or, you know, your other ingredients to the mix, and it yes. ends up thickening, and this is not moving in there, despite yeah. the fact that we add loose powder and loose liquid. Yeah, so the... Polymer, and then this is just polymer and water, okay. nothing else. And then, uh, yeah, this is just the thick polymer water uh, once it's neutralized, and then we have glitter. Of uh, course. Because <laughs> you can't do chemistry without glitter. You have to. It's in the best all aspects, for yeah. sure. And this is the same concept that goes then into lotions and, and everything else, too. Yes. So um, I have three finished products that highlight using these polymers uh, for end applications. So the first is a lotion. You can feel free to try it on your okay. skin. Back to beginning. There we go. <laughs> it's a body lotion. It smells good. <laughs> That's nice. And this the, is the time of year you need this stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Cool. Then what's this one here? This one is a cleanser, so you wouldn't want to put this on because you right. have to rinse it off. Right. But uh, the polymer here is bringing a very nice visual effect. Cool. Uh, sparkling and thickening the product. And just to show it off a little bit, this is so fun. I love playing with yes. hair gel. Just too much fun. Well, Lubrizol <laughs> is not just automotive anymore, everybody. <laughs> there you see it. All kinds of personal care stuff too and it's right here in Northeast Ohio which is always yes. so exciting to highlight so thank you guys for coming in really appreciate it. it's great talking to you about some chemistry and don't forget you can find out all of our girls in STEM uh, segments and more information on each of them at wkyc.com slash girls in STEM